Hello and welcome to some bonus content over here on Loading Ready Run. We uh, were so happy with our limited decks for the Strixhaven School of Mages pre-pre-release that we wanted to jam some extra ones in a series that I have made the executive decision just this moment to call Office Hours. Uh, so if we could get a graphic made, uh, that, would, that would be great. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, no that seems like a, that seems like a really good idea. I'm I'm yeah, glad yeah, you thought yeah, of no, that. Yeah, no, I'm just going to leave that in here buried in the middle of this mm -hmm. and then uh just assume <laughs> that something's going to happen because of it. To my yeah. left, we have Ben Wheeler. Hi, with, it's uh, great to be here. Yeah. And to my right, Ben Ulmer. Hi, the Battle it's great of the to Bens. be here. What the hell? <laughs> they uh, uh, they keep putting us together. Yeah, won't stop won't stop. It's hilarious. <laughs> I'll have you know. Uh, but well, we good. have At determined first job, player. Okay. Oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah, Ben's yeah. going first. Ben's going yes, first. Uh, Bo, yeah. uh, ben has kept seven. Ben has also kept seven. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we're going to rumble. So I declare this battle begun. Okay. Good, good luck, buddy. Yeah, good luck have Ben. Uh, yeah. I'm going to play a swamp and pass. Oh, I, know. I can't remember a day where I didn't have Ben. Uh, ben, it's just like Benning John Malkovich in here. <laughs> what? You're gonna play this Lorehold Campus and pass. That's a pun, <laughs> Ben. Don't do this to me. Did you say Ben or Bending? Uh, I'm gonna play a second swamp. Go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna draw for the turn. Uh, play this island. Okay. Uh, I would like to cast this Leonin Light Scribe. Ooh, that's a good magic card. Yeah, it's a 2-2 two -two with Magecraft. Uh, whenever I cast an instant or sorcery, creatures you control get plus one, plus one until end of turn. And I will pass. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to play an island. Seems good. And then I'm going to play a callous blood mage. Uh, three mana, two one. It's a vampire warlock. When it enters the battlefield, I can choose one. I either make a pass, I draw a card and lose a life, or exile your graveyard. Uh, cards in graveyard? Mm. Um, uh, none. Hmm. Okay. I'll make a pass token, and uh, I'll pass the turn. It was close. <laughs> it was close. <laughs> All right. Uh, draw for the turn. Does anyone else... Okay, first off, a plush pest seems like a no-brainer, but mm -hmm. yeah. hear me on this one. Mm -hmm. What about a fanny pack pest? Oh, and like the keep, mouth like, snacks is the... In? Yeah, I, I, I envision it already, which means it's a great product. Yeah, right? Like you can just crack it open and there's there would be like raisins or peanuts or some other kind of dry snack in it. Yeah. Crack it open's a weird word to use when we're talking about a living thing. I guess as a fanny pack, it's not, but it's just yeah. like, oh, let me just crack open this pest. Uh, I'm going to go to combat, Ben. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, swinging in for two. Well, I can't possibly think it, uh, that you would have something. Um, refresh my memory. Is it plus one, plus one? Yeah. Wowee. Uh, no blocks. All right. Take two. Okie doke. 18. Uh, but that's not all, Yugi boy. What? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and tap for three uh, and play a Dream Strix. Oh, not the bird. Ooh, foil bird. Okay. Yeah, this was my promo. It's a 3 2 flyer. Uh, it's got that illusion text. Becomes the target of a spell. I sack it. Uh, and when it dies, I learn. I'm going to pass it back bird. to you. Stupid bird. You can't tell me what to do. When like whenever you whenever learn? I see learn as a condition, yeah. right? I'm like, I didn't I didn't learn all through school, and I'm not going to start now. Yeah. How dare oh, you? This is where I'm getting it for free now. <laughs> hmm. Well, well, well. Uh, I'm going to cultivate. Uh, I played a Hall of Oracles. It's a non-basic land. It filters for a mana. Uh, but it also can put 1-1 one, one counters on creatures um, if I've cast a instant or sorcery. But right now, it's just a really bad filter. Uh, <laughs> and I'm going to cast a <laughs> Cultivate, 
and grab okay. uh, two forests. Seems good. Yeah, one blade tapped, one in my hand, and uh, I think I'm going to just pass the turn. Yeah, go okay. ahead. All right. Untibbity so, tappity. What's up, Cam? Where does cultivate fit into the grand like tradition of green ramp spells? Because it was like M11, right? Uh, kind of of an yeah. era with like divination, doom blade. I think I'm, I think cultivate is like a like if we're not if we're not counting things you know like like three visits you know mm -hmm, right which mm -hmm. I guess are kind of its own thing but like cultivate and uh, Kodama's reach yeah I think are kind of like the the two sort of like catch all sort of commander esque uh, cards that usually make the cut I find like mm -hmm. I think getting a I think getting a cultivate is like one of those sort of solid. Um, like cards that you're, you're, it's gonna see play at some point for mm. sure. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, Drew for the turn. I'm gonna play this planes. Uh, I'm gonna go to attacks. Okay. Swing it in for five. I will throw my callous blood mage in front of your Leonin uh, battle scribe. Uh, okay, uh, I'm going to, uh, I will shock your pest. Or, sorry, for, shock you for three. For two? Oh, for three. <laughs> uh, okay, my pest is going to die. I gain yeah. a life. Uh, and now everything big. Yeah, so, uh, your, your friend will die. You'll take <sighs> four from the dream strix. Yowza. So I take four, but I gained one. So I'm at 15. Mm -hmm. Oogie. Do with um, those mages just snap into a, a pest like a Capri Sun? <laughs> oh. <laughs> just like yeah, jam basically. a straw into one? Right? They're and like, they're like, mm, ooh, pineapple. Delicious. Uh, I'm going to tap for two and play an eager first year. Ooh. Yes. Two, two, whenever I cast an instant or sorcery, it gets plus one, plus zero oh until end of turn. And I'll pass. It's like cracking. It's like shotgunning a uh, drink, yeah. oh, a canned God. beverage. Yeah. That's really grim. <laughs> now that uh, I'll play Oh, that's four. bad. Oh, oh that's wait horrifying. a minute. That sounds awful. Doing uh, pest stands. <clears throat> pest, pest, pest. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Oh, d rarely. Uh, I will. Hey, look—a make... library in a graveyard. Oh, you startled me. Um, God, this is not good. Not good at all. Uh, I'll play a rare. That might help. Uh, I'll play pretty good. <laughs> Manifestation Sage. Uh, it's quad green blue. Uh, for a 2-2, two -two. Okay. and when it comes to the play, I make a fractal for each, uh, with a power and toughness equal to the number of cards in my hand. So I have four, so it's going to make a 4-4 four -four fractal creature token. Oakley doakley. And then I'm going to pass a Rooney. Alrighty. Draw. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna play a Montagna. Oh, yeah. Um, well, <laughs> blap. Hmm, blap, eh? Going in um, with the squad. I am going to put this 4 4 in front. Of your scribe. Okay. And that's it. Um. I'm going to. Opt to start off. Oh no. <laughs> uh, so everyone gets plus one, plus one. Uh, uh -huh. This gets plus one, plus zero. You know, scry. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to leave that on top and draw it, and that changes this. Mm -hmm. 
Well, does it? I guess it doesn't really. Because this is a 3-3 three, three now? Yeah, okay. Uh, I'll tap for 3 and cast Enthusiastic Study. Target creature gets plus 3 plus 0 and trample until end of turn. Oh, yep. <laughs> Targeting the Light Scribe. Yes. Uh, so, uh, Light Scribe is now a... Seven. seven mm, yeah, seven. No, well, hold on. It's got. I guess it has two spells. So yeah, seven, five. five. Yeah. Eager first year is a five two, and Dream Strix is a five four. So, any effects Does, before damage? The, hold on. Does oh right, the, learn. The first right. year gets bigger, right? Does it. The first, yeah, sorry. Okay. Yeah. Right. Because yeah, it's a. Sorry, it's a two or a six four. Um, I also uh, have to learn. Um, I'm gonna grab. Uh, I don't know. Let's grab. Uh, uh, introduction to prophecy. Okay, so that's eleven unblocked damage, and a seven power trampler. Yes. Uh, so I take 14. Yes. Um, so I go to one. Yes. And my fractal dies. Yes. Okay. Uh, and I'll pass the turn to you, friend. And you're at 20? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. 20. It's not impossible. It's anyone's game. Yeah, it could go either way. Not likely... And you did put best. <laughs> you put a card into your hand that is an instant or sorcery. Uh, introduction to prophecy is a three mana sorcery. sorcery. Try to draw a card. Ah, right. All lessons are sorceries. Okay. I think so. Yeah. Well, <laughs> uh, I think <laughs> that I am dead. Plus two. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm I'm really dead. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm really dead. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> Holy smokes. All right, game two. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. Cool, Dramatic cool. showing here from uh Ben with the Prismari deck. Uh Ben, you're Ben Ulmer. Yeah. Your deck name seems to come from a very real place. Do you want to talk about that a bit? <laughs> Uh, uh, you yeah. went to school for theater, right? I did. Yeah, I went. I was a. I was a back. I uh, went to school to be a backstage technician, um, hmm. which is kind of where my engineering sort of background comes from. When people when people ask me, by the way, about like like they see the username Engineering, and they're like, oh, hmm. like what what are you an engineer? Mate? Like what, what do you do engineering wise? I'm like, uh, sounds and and lighting. I make the theater look pretty. Um, but uh, <laughs> yeah, the the it's it's kind of an age old. Um, lighting person joke where um it's it's how many how many texts does it take to change a light bulb uh <laughs> and it's not a light bulb it's a lamp is the the response to it because they call light bulbs lamps in in, in the biz so no fa fair enough yeah that's the I'll, it's it's a shout out to my fellow techies <laughs> i'll make a note of that actually because i i think i've been doing that wrong this entire time <laughs> then again uh... we also wish wish each other luck right yeah, at the top of the, the show time. Yeah. all the time we don't do we don't do the uh the break a leg thing or whatever so mm -hmm. it could like, go either I, way i've made reference to macbeth we've made a lot of mistakes i'm surprised we're yeah. like all still kicking <laughs> all right so is everyone uh randomize their libraries yes more or less as yeah, I'm just have a keepable hand. Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to think about all the times we've said Macbeth. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> mean, like, I'll just be walking along being sort. like, you know, just being like Macbeth, 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 Macbeth. <laughs> you know, savoring the feel of the word. Yeah. It's and got a very six, nice plosive the in the middle. The, the chandelier right above me is a little wobbly. I'm sure nothing's uh, <laughs> wrong, though. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll keep the seven. Bokeh. 
All right. Uh, Mr. Wheeler, I assume you're on the play? Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I think I'll, I think I've, I think I've got a... Uh, yeah, I will keep this. Good luck, friend. Good luck. Uh, blue-green campus. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, blue energy. Go ahead. Hmm. Uh, why is it the judge here? Ah, perfect, Ben. Never mind. Swamp. Go ahead. Oh, I'm on it, pal. Uh, all right. Draw. I'm going to play a Montagna. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've seen all these pledge mages going around, so I'm going to play the Prismari pledge mage. No. It is a 3-3 three, three defender. <laughs> okay. uh, and when I cast an instant or sorcery, it can attack as though it didn't have defender. There was more text? Oh, yeah. boy. Um... All right, I'm going to play a forest. I'm going to cast a cultivate. Uh, Seems good. Uh, let's get ourselves a basic island into play. It's pretty rude. You couldn't nah, have more about it. Nah, <laughs> nah, forest this island's tapped. pretty basic. I don't know. Hey, and you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. I get it. Pumpkin <laughs> spice lattes taste good. Yeah, they do. Yeah. I'm yeah. drinking Palm Bay. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to go for the things what taste good. <laughs> Is it still Palm Bay if you didn't, like, get a sketchy guy outside the liquor store to pick it up for you, though? Yeah, yeah, boot for you. <laughs> yeah. It's like, hey, do you mind you booting? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. it's Palm Bay. I can't buy it myself. Yeah standing outside the liquor store getting 25 year olds to boot for me a 29 year old just to feel <laughs> young again uh go ahead yeah all right loading ready run does not condone and <laughs> oh absolutely no absolutely, uh, absolutely not <laughs> Uh, we can cut this entire part. Yeah. But maybe... Uh, Paul, gonna... just put a giant sensor over all of that. I'm going to play the Dream Strix. Uh, and uh, pass to you. Live in the Dream Strix. Yep. Live and let dream. <laughs> I'll play a Witherbloom campus. And I'll play a Quandrix Pledge Man. Uh, three mana two two. When I cast a caster copy and insert a sorcery, put a one one counter on it. All right. Uh, go ahead. Bouquet. Mm, a wonderful bouquet. Ah <laughs> uh, yes. Mm. Um. In a play, dis Prismari campus. Uh huh. Um, mm. I would like it's a two two. Uh, yep. Mm. Mm. Do you have a one drop in your hand? Did you tell uh, me yep. that? If you did, you do. Okay. I, I, if anybody asks, I always tell them. All right. I appreciate it. Okay. Well, then in that case, I'm gonna tap two, <laughs> uh, and play a sudden breakthrough. Uh, target creature gets plus two, plus zero, oh, and gains first strike until end of turn. Uh, I'm targeting the Prismari Pledge Mage. Okay. Uh, I also make a treasure, uh, and Prismari uh, Pledge Mage can attack this turn. I'd like to proceed to combat. Yes. Uh, swing with the team. Swing in for eight. Uh, no blocks. No blocks. All right. Take eight. Take, take eight. Ask take you. an eight. Take an eight to your boss. Uh, take an eight to your boss. Uh, I'm gonna play an island. I really appreciate that um, Prismari make treasure tokens as like works of art rather than yeah. necessarily being lore hold, digging yeah. up artifacts as treasure. Yeah, it, having it, had it, a couple of. It seems like they're a really fun uh, college that you can like splash in and stuff too. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's nice. Uh, I'm gonna attack yeah, number two. Yeah, well, uh, please continue the, the the theater kid discussion. 
<laughs> and artwork uh, discussion. No, no, no blocks. What's up, Cam? Oh, I was just going to say that, like, you know, having had several friends who got their welding tickets while doing fine arts degrees. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's how I ended up getting my lift ticket. Yeah. You, you wind up with a lot of, like, random industrial knowledge while mm -hmm. doing fine art. Yeah, learning to weld. Uh, no uh, no additional effects before damage, Wheeler? No, nah, you're good. All right. Down to 18. Uh, go ahead. Keep. Untappy toe claws. Uh, I'm going to play this island. Um, go to attacks. Yep. Uh, bird. Uh, bird. Take bird. Okay, go to nine. Okay. Pass to you. Pass to me. I also do kind of love the metaphysical implication that Prismari art allows them to understand other, like, fields of knowledge. Yeah. It seems like th this was one of those schools, like, I never I never went to it. I only heard stories like the school where the kids just get to choose their their paths of knowledge and, and they just have, like, a person that checks in on them every once in a while and is, like, making oh, yeah. sure they're actually doing their, their course load and stuff. Right, like a Montessori thing. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to activate Witherbloom Campus and a turn. On my end step? Oh, yeah. Okay. Scry. Scry. Um, yeah, I'll keep that on top. Yeah. Anything okay, else? Nope. Okay, untap. Uh, draw. Mm. Let's tap three and play Callus Blood Mage. Ah, this friend. Hello, darkness. Uh, let's draw a card and lose a life. Going to eight. Alrighty. Uh, I will play Forced for the turn. Uh, and I'll play a Blood Researcher. Uh, three mana, 2-2 two, two Menace. It's a Vampire Druid. Whenever I gain life, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Um, uh, okay. And then I'll pass. Um... Okay, uh, I'm gonna, uh, on your end step, do the same thing you did. I'm gonna scry. Oh, okay. <clears throat> um, See, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna keep that on top. If, if you look at my Facebook profile, um, you'll see that I actually went to the School of Hard Knocks. <laughs> um, it was a trade school. <laughs> what did you trade? Uh, mostly, um, doors. Do doors doors and entrances doors. uh all right uh i would like to crack this treasure and tap out uh oh yeah uh, to uh have uh what we in the biz call a creative outburst i don't know what that does i assume uh, it's five bad. damage to yeah. any target uh, look at the top five cards of your library, put one of them into your hand, and the rest in the bottom of your library in any order. Oh, uh, that's pretty good. I'd like to dome you. Sure. <laughs> For five. All right. Uh, I'm going to look at the top five. Yes. Um, I will put this card in my hand. This is the random order. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, and I'd like to go to combat. Okay. Uh, so you have a 2-2, two -two, a 2-1, two and a 2-2 two -two menace, yep. right? Yep. Uh, yeah, I'll swing with the team. Uh, I'm going to throw my Pledge Mage 
in front of your pledge mage. Yep. Pledge fight. Uh, mm -hmm. And before damage, I'm going to cast Fortifying, yeah, Fortifying Draft. Uh, one green instant, I gain two life. Target creature gets plus X, plus X until end of turn, where X is the amount of life I gained. Yeah. Uh, I have, so, Magecraft trigger. This gets a counter. Okay. Uh, and then I gain two life. I go up mm -hmm. to five, I believe. Yep. Uh, and then this gets a counter because I gain life. And this gets plus two plus two, so this is now a five five. Okay. Um, so I take three, going to two, and okay. uh, my pledge mage eats your pledge mage. Delicious. Mm, scrumptious. Uh, and I will pass the turn. Untap. Draw. I will play swamp for the turn. Okay. Um, I'm going to cast Mortality Spear. Uh, mm -hmm. Four mana instant. Costs less if I gain life. Destroys a non-land permanent. I'm going to target your Dream Strix. Uh, Pledge Mage gets a little bigger. In response, it gets sacrificed. No. And then I learn. Um, mm. uh, I will grab uh, Elemental Summoning. Okay. Uh, and pass. Or, uh, I mean, it's your turn, so... Yeah, and then I'm going to cast Tendrils of Agony, Storm Trigger, Ooh. Um, Magecraft Trigger. So there's so two you... copies of Tendrils. Yeah. So this Pledge Mage gets two more counters, going up to four total. Okay. Uh, I'm going to gain four life. You are going to lose four life. Yeah. And because I gain two instances of life, because it's per Storm Trigger... Um, yeah. the blood researcher gets two counters as well. Yeah. So you lose four, I gain four, and then I'll attack for six, 11, 13. Go to one. And that's a go. Okay. All right. Well. <sighs> hmm. How much mana does this cost? Yeah. Ben, I want you to see uh, my the absolute pain in my heart right now. Okay, thank God. Uh, I'm going to Urza's Rage you. Oh, <laughs> no. Yeah. For three. Okay, I go to I, three life points. I'm going to shock you for two. I go to one life point. Uh, and then I'm going to go to game three. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Jeez Louise. Okay, that was a dramatic turn of Magic the Gathering here at uh, Extra Hours. <laughs> <laughs> I assume the graphic is going to go like... It's the working title still. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah right, right here. Um, okay, Tendrils of Agony. Yeah, that I mean... That is muy picante. <laughs> I, I love... That you were able to be like, I just want to storm out, and in, in, in like the video at the start, and be like, "Oh, what's this? Tendrils of agony?" <laughs> yeah, this is this is definitely not how I pictured I'd be doing that. Um, mm -hmm. I thought there might I, be, you know, more spells. <laughs> I mean, the tendrils to... saved the day. Like that yeah. was the winning place. Yeah. So. How does it feel to storm in a uh, limited game of Magic: The Gathering? <laughs> I'm I'm going to play so much sealed and or draft mm -hmm. just trying to grape shot my opponents into the dirt yeah and it probably yeah. won't work that often but yeah i mean I like do you speculate on grinning ignis Ooh, ah uh, if i can reduce there's not a i don't know if there that's a pretty bold set of combination of cards to put in a set so i don't think there is like any infinite infinite thing going on but mm -hmm. like uh, yeah like I'm, I'm looking for like grade school level storm you know yeah, like you know, it's like baby yeah yeah you, you grape shot for four and yeah exactly feel like grape, a champion grape shot for four mm -hmm. and then to try to find if my parents are in the audience or where they are to be like yeah. you see that Did you see brain that? freeze somebody i got i got that's... like 20 cards yeah <laughs> and then your your parents are like that's my kid that's my kid that's my <laughs> child right there. Uh, I am going to keep this seven. Oh, I am not. No, no, that that wasn't playable. 
Yeah, that or or I'm just gonna play any creature that gets bigger. Mm. I like that. Mm -hmm. I like putting you one, like one doing the mi on creatures. I had never heard of the term miracle grow really until I like played up against your Highlander version of it. Yeah, the Quirion... Quirion's pledge mage seems oh, yeah. very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Quir Quirion Dryad's a hell of a drug. Um, there's just something so satisfying about like a vanilla creature that only ever gets bigger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's it. That's all it does. Yeah. Well, well like, I, I think this set has ahead. a lot of like, oh, sorry. I was just going to say, like, I think this card, this set just has like a lot of like cards that sort of cement various mechanics and stuff like that. Like, but mm -hmm. also trying to get outside of the, the norm that they've been printing these cards in for a while, you know? Yeah. So it's, <laughs> also, uh, Cody is going to be my, like the commander deck. I think that I keep forever. Uh, cause it does exactly what I want to do, which is not cast any permanence and just cast instants and sorceries. That's and, and dink around all game. That's all I want to do. Yeah, no, <laughs> it seems powerfully real or if not mm. real, at least entertaining. Yeah. I'm going to keep this and I'm going to bottom card. I definitely almost scried. I don't know why. I think talking about Query and Dryad set me back like 10 years. <laughs> uh, but I've mulliganed properly, and I'm good to go. All right. Good All luck, right. buddy. Good luck. Let us begin with round three, or game three here in round X. Mountain go. I don't know what order this is going up in. Round extra hours. I'll play uh, Quadrix Campus and pass. All right. Uh, I'm going to play a Plains uh, and play a card I think a lot of people are excited about, maybe some more than others. Uh, Strict Proctor. Mm. It is a 1-3 flyer. Whenever a permanent entering the battlefield causes an ability to trigger, counter that ability unless its controller pays 2. Oakley Doakley. Uh, I'll pass the turn. Uh, I'm going to play a Forest and Pass. Bouquet. Uh, I will play an island, the natural three color. Unbelievable. Yeah, the, the lucky get luckier. Uh, I can't believe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go to combat. Yep. Swing for one in the air. Uh, yep, yeah, nineteen. Uh, I'm gonna play a symmetry sage. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. O2 Flyer. Uh, whenever you cast it or copy an instant or sorcery, a uh, creature you control gets beast power 2 until end of turn, and I'll pass the turn. I remember somebody somebody described it as the new Delver to me. Uh, and yeah, did so I, that. I saw that in Twitch chat. Uh, sincerely. Yeah. And... Uh, uh, I'll play a Quadrix Pledge Mage, and I'll pass. And not to, I mean, not to burst any bubbles. Um, <laughs> but it's not that. It's a little different. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. still, I think it's still a pretty cool card, honestly. Yeah. Like, yeah, absolutely. Was, was, uh, oh. like, Monastery Swift Spear didn't need to be Goblin Guide in order yeah. to be, like, in order to have a role in Red Aggro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm going to play a mountain, mm -hmm. uh, and then I'm going to rip apart your pledge oh, mage. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to make the symmetry sage a 2-2 two -two flyer. Mm-hmm. Go to combat. Okay. Swing in for three. Yes. 16. And pass. Like, symmetry mage as a flying man seems... Totally decent. Yeah. I think if it was if it was not just uh, instance or sorceries, like if it was non creature spell, uh, mm -hmm. that'd be that'd be like the the top tier for it. But I think it's still very good. So the yeah. the spirit it counters enter the battlefield abilities unless I pay an additional two. Yeah. Oof. -a. Okay. Um. Well. I'm going to start by doing everybody's favorite last resort. Uh, I'm going to cast this uh, combat spell, Charge Through, uh, targeting one of your creatures. 
Uh, target creature gains trample until end of turn. Uh, draw a card. Okay. Uh, I would like to uh, target one of your creatures and uh, draw a card. Yeah, yeah. Do you have do you have a preference on who you want? Uh, to, uh, tell you what, dealer's through? choice. Uh, all right. You know what? Um, let's make this O two. Uh, have trample. Mm, I don't agree to that. I'll play a swamp and I'll pass the turn. <laughs> all right. Uh, on your end step. Mm, you no, know, no. This is literally written on the card because it's. <laughs> you're sp- <laughs> No, no, I refuse. All right, untap. There are two stooges fighting inside Ben. Yeah. One is Curly, one is Mo. Yeah, you should do it. It's the smart play. No, but it's not the fun play. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> shout outs to all my uh, <laughs> shout outs to all the ninety year olds in chat. Yeah. Uh, inside I'm you, going... there are three stooges trying to get through the door. <laughs> None of them. <laughs> <laughs> None uh, of them I'm are shame. Gringus. Oh, not Gring. Oh, Gringus. Hi, Gringus. Yes. Um. And I will go to combat. Mm-hmm. And swing for when. Okay. Fifteen. Pass the turn. Why is the judge here? Can I get both Bens to just quickly adjust their boards for the camera? Wheeler's cards are sliding off a bit, and Ben's playmat is sliding off a bit. Thank you, mm. both players. Sorry, the Gringus scared me. <laughs> it is natural you to think retreat you from the starving. Gringus. Yeah. You, Gringus? a little baby with tendrils of agony. <laughs> me, a genius with grinning ingots. <laughs> Uh, pictured here is uh, my opponents against a Gringus. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're oh. more scared of us than we are of them. Uh, I'm going to play Witherbloom Pledge Mage. Uh, I only just realized that this is one of the Pledge Mages. Uh, it's a 5 mana 5 5. It's a Tree Folk. It's a Warlock. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mage Craft. Uh, whenever I cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, I gain one. Uh, Sounds and, good. And that'll be a pass. Alrighty. Yeah, the uh, the Witherbloom Pledge Mage being a 5-5 five five has uh, taken me by surprise. Yeah. yeah. Historically. <laughs> it's very, it's <laughs> or, very big. Or spoilers. <laughs> yeah, or spoilers. Um, <laughs> yeah. Do you think, like, the, you know, the Pledge Mages are just hanging out at a campus bar and they call Witherbloom Pledge Mage tiny? <laughs> I could see it. All the other ones are like three ones, two twos, a three um, three, and then this tree. Just a tree. How does a tree become a warlock? Uh, I'm going to cast Lore Hold Command. Oh, that's a... I, I don't know what it does, but it's got a fancy name. Yeah, so I'm going to uh, choose the modes. I guess first trigger... Um, Symmetry Sage is going to become a 2-2. Uh-huh. Um, and uh, I'm going to make a 3-2 red and white spirit creature token. Uh, mm-hmm. And then I'm going to give creatures I control plus 1, plus 0, oh, and indestructible in haste until end of turn. Let me read that again. Okay, <laughs> okay so everything's... You're making a thing, and then everything's getting vroom zoomy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I swing with the team. Well, plus one. Oh, God. Plus one plus oh, indestructible haste on everything. Indestructible and haste. Uh, I will block something with four power on the ground. Yeah, so that'll Uh, be the spirit. (laughs) Yeah, your, your spirit token. So I'll take three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, eight. Yep. God, we're just we're just a bunch of punchy boys. Yeah, punch wizards. Uh, punch and wizards. Uh, <laughs> that's to you. Just punch wizards. Nothing but haymakers today. 
Curse you, punch wizard. <laughs> yeah. You fooled me for the last Tune time. In. Tune in next week when the punch wizards oh. face the newest threat. Whatever the hell Wheeler's playing this turn. Oh, jeez, like... boss. What are we going to do about those punch wizards? Silence, oh, you fool. I'm trying to think. <laughs> oh, don't you worry about the punch wizards. I'll handle the punch wizards. I'll do it the old-fashioned way. <laughs> all, ab all above the table with a classic mage duel. Uh, I'm casting Mage Duel. Okay. Uh, it's a sorcery. Yep. Uh, a target creature I control gets plus one, plus two until end of turn. And then it fights a creature I don't control. Um, because I'm casting a spell, I get to gain a life. So I go okay. up to eight. Uh, I'd like to fight your spirit token. Uh, yeah, you got it. Get uh -huh. dead. And then, because I gained some life, uh, are we too far gone? You gained Maybe. one life? Maybe. Yeah, yeah I, I gained one life. Uh, because I gained life, my mortality spear Oof. costs only a black and a green. That card's gonna I get be to destroy target non-land. I'm going to kill your flying 1-3. Seems pretty good for you, yeah. Uh, and I gain another life because I get because I cast something, mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to. Gosh, I do like punching, but I'm probably holding back the pledge mage. I'll pass the turn. Okay. Untappity. Mm -hmm. And draw. Um. I think hmm. how many cards do you have in it? Uh, three. Three? Hmm. And only one of them good. Oh, uh, two of them good. Uh, I'm going to Urza's Rage, targeting your face. Okay. I uh, take three. I go to six. Uh, I'll make Symmetry Sage a two-two. Mm -hmm. And swing for two in the air. I go to four. Pass to you, buddy. Okie dokie. Mm. I'm gonna tap four and cast Eureka Moment. Uh, trigger. I gain a life. Mm -hmm. uh, I draw two cards. I can put a land from my hand onto the battlefield. One, okay. Two. Uh, I will decline to put a land card from my hand onto the battlefield. Uh, I almost dislike that more. <laughs> and I will pass the turn. Okay. Draw. Um. I would like to cast Opt. Mm hmm. Uh, trigger Symmetry Sage becomes a 2 2. Mm hmm. Gonna scry. I'm gonna put that on top uh, and draw for the turn. Uh, go to combat. Yep. Uh, swing for two in the air. Uh, no blocks. Go to right. three. Go to three. Okay. Play an island mm -hmm. uh, and pass the turn. Yes. On tap. Well, 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 well. What have we here? Santa Claus. Ooh, I'm really well, scared. Well, Santa. <laughs> come, come, Mr. Claus. Uh, I'll attack you for five. Uh, I'll get five. Ow. Mm. Oof. Uh, I'm gonna tap four and play Manifestation Sage. Ah, uh, this is the, the one that the makes a friend. Fractal. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, and I make a uh, five-five. Oof. Okay. Uh, 
Good little fractal worm thing. Uh, I'm going to then play a forest and tap two to cast uh, Dina, Soul Steeper. What does she do? She's this a black. The, oh, hey, black, this is the Wither yeah. Bloom commander. Right. Yeah, black and a black and a green for a one three Dryad Druid. She's a legend. Whenever I gain life, each opponent loses one life. Pay one, sacrifice another creature. Dina gets plus X plus zero until end of turn, where X is the sacrifice creature's power. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to pass. Uh, I'm going to heated debate Dina oh, no. on your end oh, step. No. Dealing no, four. Dina. <laughs> no. Dealing four. Uh, all right. Untap. Mm-hmm. Blah, 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 Wait, blah, does Dina blah. just uh, loop with exquisite blood? Uh, yes. That's yes, the she does. Bomboist of combos. Gross. Blah 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 Gringus. Hi, Gringus. Get three mana. Get three mana. Get three mana. Get three mana. Tap five. Tap five, tap five, have eight, magma, opus, target, your face. Master. Uh -huh. <laughs> magma uh -huh. opus deals four damage, divided as you choose among any number of permanents. Tap two, <laughs> or, or any number of targets. Tap two permanents. Make a four, four blue elemental creature token and draw two cards. All right, and now this is part where um, we show that footage where I, I'm being sliced in half. Right? <laughs> 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 Uh, yes, I'm extremely dead. Yeah! Ooh, how... I'm glad we got to do it in a flashy way. <laughs> how proud was the person who wrote the name of that card? Magma Opus? Yeah, yeah. I, you know, part of me thinks it was probably Daniel. <laughs> yeah. I could see it being Mr. Holt. Uh, sit and sitting on it for a while. Just be like, oh, yeah, this is Savoring it. that one. Yeah. Made well, I got note. to... I got to swap this because this is this is the one that I opened in the collector booster Ooh. when we showed him off on Ooh. stream. Um, but I have one in my initial pool too. Uh, so you're so. just like foiling out your uh, your your seal pool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that was the thing, right? Is like I had like the foils in my opener was like the foil strict prox or, or prox this thing, and then mm -hmm. like this this foil planes, and I'm like. This is the most foiled I've ever played. Like, I don't, do, I don't typically go for them. So, and what? it's a sealed pool. <laughs> that would be, that has got to be the most massive yet hard to accomplish flex. Is like at mm -hmm. a, at a pre-release, like let's say you're running pre-releases on a Saturday and a Sunday. And on the Saturday, you like managed to trade for just enough foil copies, like either through like your prize pool, trading with people, you know, whatever. Uh, and you just are able to foil out your entire Sunday pool. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, right. Yeah, and do do like correct swaps overs and stuff like that. Because yeah, Surge talked about it at the pre-release. Yeah, and he, he allowed it and was like, if this happens to you at a pre-release and like you know you open up a another booster, just talk to the judge and be like, yeah, hey, is us. this cool? And yeah, yeah. So. Thanks for the game, yeah. Ben. Yeah, thanks for the games. Yeah. Well, uh, good. Some really good match, some magic gathering in there, but thank you for joining us on uh, Extra Hours. Office Hours. Office Hours. Extra Office Hours. Extra, extra Office, office hours. hours. If we could get that graphic pulled up right now, that would be perfect. <laughs> Our right. Extra thank you. Office. Jordan, um, Jordan's giving you like a, or whoever's editing it, is giving you just like the biggest middle finger through the screen <laughs> right now. Uh, that, that's that's fair we i think we can all agree that that's extremely fair but uh fair and... i mean i won't be able to see it through the graphic that's gonna be <laughs> all right so for me cameron who is table friending and ben and ben thank you very much for joining us on this bonus content for the loading ready run uh, uh, uh strixhaven school of mages ppr Bye. Bye.